God, this is beautiful. But you know what's more beautiful? Me beating the hell out of Aaron Jones at Biddy Fives. See, I put on Twitter and I started talking a lot of smack about Biddy Five, and I, and I called out Aaron Jones. And what he does? He hits me back up. He retweets my shit. Hits me back up. Says, let's do what our best in the yard. And to that, I got to say, God, that sounds good. But then he says something to hit me. He said, put your money where your mouth is. You know for a fact the type of man that I am. And you know I don't back down for nobody. Now, you want me at BD5, that's fine. And it would be a shame if I bury you as something that you helped create, like Biddy. So Aaron Jones, if that's what you want, that's what I'm going to give you. Mr. Jones versus TDM, best in the yard five. BD5, the last hurrah. That seems to be the big subject coming out of everybody's mouth, and I've kind of kept my mouth shut. Because this is bittersweet. This is something we thought wouldn't ever happen. One man decided to step up and challenge the one man revolution. I could say that Aaron Jones, Yankee Santiago, first time ever, big man versus big man, main eventer versus main eventer. A guy who has never won at Biddy versus a guy who's undefeated at Biddy. Yankee, I have a point to prove. I have to go out there and prove to everybody why. Not only am I the heart and soul of Biddy, but why I'm undefeated. Why I deserve that main event. And you gotta prove that you can hang. You have to prove that you can hang at a show like Biddy, Yankee. If you won't the one man revolution and the difference maker, then that's what these people are gonna get. I hope you get ready in the back. I hope you take those fists up real tight. Hell, bring you back. This bitch comes wherever the fuck I go. Cause it doesn't matter what you do coming out that curtain. It doesn't matter how you get in that ring or what you do in between those ropes, Yankee. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Because at Biddy, when you step in the ring with Aaron Jones, you, sir, can only be second best. Bring the bitch. Dumb motherfucking hick. Because this hick, this hick's coming to win. I don't know Yankee TDM. I don't. I know Yankee Santiago, the guy behind the character. The guy behind the character. Well, did you know John? Did you know John, the guy that had to struggle when he first came to the United States? Did you know John, the guy that went to Florida for the first time and they didn't know any fucking English and had to sit there and ask for quarters for a payphone and they kept talking shit to him because he was Hispanic? You don't. You don't know shit about me, Aaron. Back in the days when I was struggling to survive, when my mother wasn't at home and my father was somewhere else to be, I was in the street selling dope on Sundays while you and your white folks family were out there in church. You know the struggle, Aaron? You know what it is to struggle? Huh? You know what it is to eat cereal with water? Huh? How about OJ and ramen? Huh? You know what the fuck that is? You know what it is to wake up every day knowing that tomorrow is never promised? I fall, I scratch and claw to be where I'm at. And your shit was handed to me by good old BT Dub. The one man revolution, as you like to call yourself, because you named yourself that. It wasn't given to you. It wasn't like me, you know, TVN, the difference maker. That was given to me because I earned that shit. I knew about that little kid in Puerto Rico. Me, my father, and my two siblings were too busy sleeping on a mattress in a back bedroom because we couldn't afford to heat the house. Wasn't handed anything. Your first bitty, pal. And you went and main evented it. 4 and 0. 0 and 1. I'm walking out of Best in the Yard 5 on my two feet. Battered, bruised, bloody. It doesn't matter. Because I refuse to be handed a win. I'm going to earn it.